Where did your mother go? Did she just decide to leave? Yeah. I don't have anything in front of me. I'm the same way. Is that bad? Yes. So let me forget my charger. Okay. So I'm going to go over some of the details quickly. If I leave anything else, you're here to cue me because we already went over all this junk and the razzmatazz. <clears throat> the performances are still TBA because I've got to talk to Brandon a little bit longer. It's going to be in late August, third or fourth weekend. We're not sure. Not exactly how that's going to work out, especially since we're using Loretto and school starts in August, like the first weekend of August or something. First of August. But he said that was completely fine with him. <laughs> I'm just going with what he told me. So we are, I'm, I'm still looking for a little bit better situation because having to deal with the school and stuff like that, I still want the Interact Club to sponsor it. I just don't know how it's going to work out with the school situation. So I've got a couple people uh, looking for some other venues for us. But as of right now, it's at Loretta High School last weekend of August. If there's a lot of conflicts with what you've given me and other people that I see that have a lot of conflicts with August because people are going off to college and, and doing their work stuff, then it'll be moved up to, I'm hoping, no earlier than late July, because that would just be, well, it would just be bad. A uh, couple other things. This is 75 hours of consecutive entertainment, meaning we'll start on a Thursday at 6 p.m., and we will continually go until uh, Sunday around 10-ish is when we would quit. Now, the way this is going to work with 75 hours of consecutive entertainment not everybody has to be there for the whole thing. What it is, is it's pretty much a, a team has to, has to uh, try for this record. But I've asked, I've asked Guinness a couple of questions. They haven't responded to me yet, meaning if myself, Andy, and Heather were to go for this record, could we have other people in it? Like, let's say we were doing a Shakespeare play and the three of us were going for the record. Could, it, could we have people that were, weren't necessarily going for the record be a part of it? Because there are a lot of stipulations with this. Um, I'll just go over the general guidelines right here. The attempt should be held in a theater, community center, or any other uh, suit a similar suitable location. A single location must be used throughout the attempt, meaning once we start on Thursday, we can't move it to here on Friday and so on and so forth. The, where the attempt is being held out of doors, a canopy or something other, of other means providing shelter should be erected, such and such. Uh, the plays performed should either be published plays or traditional plays in folklore. Details of the plays performed must be submitted with the record claim. Improvisation is not allowed. Now, when it said the plays performed should be either published plays or traditional plays in folklore, I don't exactly know what they mean by published plays. I know you know, uh, William Shakespeare and some of these others. Yes, I understand that, but as some of them were, were coming up with, if you wrote it and you put it on the Internet, it's technically published, but I don't know how well that would hold up. So I asked them about original works, because in, in February or, or January, I wrote one and we performed it here. In, in some of the world, when I was looking at uh, Samuel French, they had it to where, when I was wanting to publish a play, it had to be performed, and it had to be, it had to be performed, and you had to submit evidence that it was performed, and then they would consider publishing it in their books and stuff like that. That's why I don't know if they'll allow uh, original pieces, because technically we could probably perform it before we even do the record and send it off and get it published and then redo it. I don't know exactly how long it takes to get it published, but... I, I asked them that question. <clears throat> uh, no play performed may last less than 20 minutes. That shot a lot of the stuff I wanted to do out of the water because I wanted people to do monologues. I wanted, you know, just random acts of entertainment. Uh, like individual singing, I wanted to have that, but couldn't necessarily do it because it had to be 20 minutes or less and it had to be a published piece of work. But that's where the whole original pieces comes into play, is um, 
because what I did for Jimmy Tewitt was I wrote, behind you, what I wrote was around about 30 people that came to the audition, and I wrote a play around those 30 people, and I incorporated them dancing, I incorporated them singing, I incorporated them doing everything. It was pretty much a variety show. That's another thing that I'm going to have to ask them about is, is uh, are skit shows allowed? Because SNL is pretty much a performance thing, and they just do a lot of skits. Is something like that eligible? I'm not sure. Um, let's see. No play or part of a play may be repeated within four hours, meaning we couldn't do Midsummer's so, Summer's Night Dream the first hour and then the fourth hour do a Midsummer's Night Dream. It all has to be different plays. A maximum gap of five minutes is allowed between plays. A maximum gap of two minutes is allowed between scenes of a play. Meaning, one play would have to go on five minutes after the next play. In between scenes, I'm assuming they're talking about intermission. I'm not quite sure on that one. Maybe a scene change. But those should last like eight seconds, if that. But you still have to give people bathroom breaks and things like Well, water. they've got the five minutes between the plays. That's pretty much it, because it's got to go. It's got to go from one to the next to the next to the next for it to be. Because that's another question that I had to wrote down, wrote down for them to answer me is, does that five minutes cut into the actor's break time? Because the actors who are attempting the record get five minutes for every consecutive hour that they do. Meaning if, we do four hour, if I'm on stage for four hours consecutively, I get 20 minutes of break time. So I'm not sure on how they're going to work that since it's five minutes between each play. Uh, an audience must be present at all times. No person may attend as part of the audience for longer than four hours at a stretch. I don't know how they can govern our audience, but apparently they can. I don't know. That one's a little sketchy to me. 